Tonight, an inside look at a day in the life of a Meridian police officer. Twin States reporter Cameron Brewer has more. I think the brotherhood amongst itself of the thin blue culture, man, is amazing. Um, you know, despite of everything going on in the world, it's kind of like we all have each other back as well as the community back. Meridian police officer Ronald Turner says he never knows what he may run into on the job. I work in probably the busiest district or side of Meridian. So I also work during the day. So I can average anywhere between eight to, eight to 15 calls a day. You know, not depending on what kind of calls, but just random calls, alarms, domestics, um, suspicious people. You know, we, we answer all type, of, all type of calls. Turner says there were other professions in law enforcement he once thought about before getting sworn in as a police officer. Parole officer, uh, anything working in the prison system, I, I kind of more so chose patrol officer because of the events that were going on around that time in the year of 2013. One in particular was a, a, a case with uh, Trayvon Martin. Turner says carrying the role of a public servant sees him mentoring in the community in several capacities. It's only so much that I can do as a patrol officer. Um, but like I said, you know, each person, each citizen that I come across, even if they are in the bed, I try to educate them and, and try to let them know that, hey, look, it's going to be OK. People make mistakes. You know, we're all human. I've made mistakes, and I'm pretty sure you've made mistakes. And, you know, you learn from that and you grow from it. Turner as I does not pay off the same as a direct deposit. I think one of the biggest cons for not only myself, but a lot of law enforcement officers, of course, is the pay. Um, nobody had never put their, nobody had never pay you enough amount of money to put your li life on the line. Regardless of the pay, several responsibilities still have to be carried out, some including helping others in need. We're trained to answer and help certain uh, people with mental disabilities. I'm Cameron Brewer reporting for Twin States News. And tomorrow night, Cameron will continue his ride along and show us how this officer transitions to life off duty.